hello welcome to our channel and today we are going to explore the details of the power supply uh, usually when you construct the circuits uh, you have uh, to provide them a power supply and this is a small module which consists of uh, as you can see it has two regulators that is uh, providing you 5 volt and 3.3 volt so as the marking says and there is an option between the two and here also you have 5 volt and 3.3 volt so based on which uh, power you want you can have it here comes the battery knob actually you have this battery for example and this wire can go in and uh, you can see that we are going to supply it now so the input power must be greater than 5 volt because the battery if it is 9 volt now and if you want a 5 volt or 3.3 volt so your input power must be greater than that for a efficient and uh, constant uh, regulated output voltage so usually you do that and there are some other pins also like here now i have connected this uh, power source to this uh, unit so i cannot really touch the pins otherwise i risk of damaging these uh, ICs and the units right here here is your capacitor and here is your switch uh, uh, currently uh, this is the pin that I don't know what it is used for so we are going to explore that whether it is uh, if I don't connect this battery so can I use the computer uh, usb port and connect it to it and power this board with the computer so i don't need to use this battery is that so or i must use this battery and then this particular block usb uh, acting as an output of this board so to connect to and give power to other uh, circuits and systems and the devices so we will see that uh, so what we can do we will press this switch and you can see that the LED is on now it means I am able to uh, provide uh, I am able to get the 5 volt and 3.3 volt but how to confirm that and these are the two pins right here but now I can't really uh, measure because this power unit board the PCB got tilted so what I will do I have this uh, small uh, breadboard uh, with uh, very small size and whether I will try to fix this PCB board sit comfortably on the top of this and then I'll show you how to make measurement and understand where the supplies are coming from okay so stay tuned so you can see that I have switched off the power from this I instead of taking it I can press this switch right here and uh, disconnect the unregulated supply again I press the green LED lights up again I press and it's, it's switched off now on the back of PCB I see that uh, these are the two connectors right over here uh, so on the left side and the right side left side on the right side uh, these pins are there so beneath is a breadboard and I am going to see uh, where to connect it so I'm just trying to fix it so now you see if I connect it like this so I'm I am risking the shorting the two pins because this uh, there is a direct connection that is a closed circuit the rows are short here so what I'll do I'll try to connect this block in such situation you see now only one pin is there and uh, uh, from this end I have done that and the power is still off now I will do one thing I will switch it on I will switch it on and I'll make sure that uh, the PCB sits comfortably on that but before that let's make sure switch it off and take this power cord off instead i want to make sure first whether this pin and this pins they are shorted to each other because here i see the positive here i see negative and that is again uh, 5 volt off and the same repetition goes this side so we'll explore one section only if i take this pin out here so i see now uh, this 
particular pin allows me to switch off or avoid the short circuit and use only one power source at a time so either I can use a 5 volt across these two pins or I can just place it back right here and use 3.3 volt okay here in the middle also if you see carefully I have 3.3 volt these pins and I have a 5 volt <laughs> so depending on how many connections I want from the from this board to the rest of the circuit on the breadboard I can use the wires and connect them together so first thing first I am going to do a test whether this side of the pin and this side of the pins are short or they are not short so to do so what I will do I am using this uh, multimeter right here you can see that I have this multimeter and I will run the continuity test so let me make the connections proper and uh, how to run the continuity test I will just go to continuity test right here and I have to select it so I will I am in the diode test now this symbol indicates I am in the continuity test so look if I short the wires I am getting the short circuit so we'll check if it is short or not so remember I have removed the battery from this uh, PCB and now of course these two pins positive and negative they are not to be checked and I have to only check the connection yes they are short actually so this is basically the source and these are also short same goes here this is short and this is also short of course uh, now I will check whether these pins are short yeah right correct so this section is separate and this section is separate that is for 5 volt and this section is for 3.3 volt okay so having said that you I don't need to connect this uh, in uh, the this PCB in this way rather because it is moving and shifting so rather what I'll do I will remove this remove this PCB board and connect on the breadboard I will make it sit properly on the breadboard for example look how I am making it sit so it will sit comfortably and this is the proper arrangement I have done you can see now this uh, PC board is uh, properly sitting on the breadboard and that's it rest of this uh, area on the breadboard is for the circuit connection so these are the two regulated ICs one for 5 volt 1.3.3 volt actually and uh, we are seeing that uh, these are the voltages now we'll do one thing so what we'll do is that I have this battery source again I am going to connect it to the device to the PCB and uh, I will I haven't checked uh, since long time how much the battery is drained or still providing a supply so it's good practice uh, why don't I just uh, remove it remove or I, I just keep it like this and remove this connections from here and I just want to check how much is the supply to this so this is the negative terminal of the battery and uh, that's the positive terminal of the battery so let's do that to do so I have a meter so what I'm going to do I'm going to connect it to the DC voltage source see you are I'm teaching you the measurements also you can make simple measurements and I keep it to auto so I know this is a standard 9 volt battery so what I'll do is that again this is a negative side so this goes the black goes here and red goes to other end now since long I haven't used this battery and it was uh, just like that so the voltage is degraded degraded it so it's about 7.7 uh, .7 now so 1.5 less so no problem as long as uh, the input voltage unregulated voltage is greater than 
the required regulated value that is 5 volt and 3.3 volt your circuit will work the PCB will and the circuit on the PCB will regulate the voltage so let's do that we'll connect this uh, you can see now the connections this uh, connections are made like this so that it fits the other way it's not possible so and make sure that you connect it in a proper way otherwise you are reversing giving the reverse negative voltage to the PCB now it is done the battery is properly PCB is properly sitting I have switched on the board and the light LED lights up I want to measure the voltage whether 3.3 volt or 5.5 so I am going to switch on this I set the meter in the volt DC voltage it is auto mode and look now I am going to make uh, connect this uh, multimeter pins to the supplies here so let's do that so what I read here is uh, on the notation on the marking as per the marking I see there is a 5 volt here so I connect the positive lead and to the negative I connect this one let me do it properly so that you can see the readings also and uh, now you can see that so I have connected positive and negative and it's reading 3.3 .3 volt why you see these two pins are open actually oh, this is 3.3 .3 volt okay and uh, this section with the tab I have actually um, block this section because this will give me 5 volt and this is this is actually giving me 3.3 .3 volt okay so this is 3.298 so that's reading properly how about this here also I have I should read 5 volt here oh no let me check what's the problem I'm reading DC 2.4 volt so there is something we need to understand for example if I read with respect to ground this is 2.4 volt if I read here this is 3.3 .3 volt mm, okay let me check so now the question is here we read 3.3 .3 .3 volt which is perfectly fine uh, because we are using the 3.3 .3 volt and we are not uh, we are not uh, we have covered this 5, point, uh, 5 volt supply here what about uh, what about this side of the section why are we reading only 2.4 volt here 2.4 volt or even less let me check yeah it is 2.43 so is it because of the battery which is 7 volt here or what happens similarly uh, let's switch off this supply and now open this out and cover this section and we'll see uh, what we get oh okay that was right because we had blocked this uh, side we'll check again now switch on it and measure it now so it is correct 3.3 .3 volt now so you have to open that to measure it right so now it is 3.3 .3 volt you see this side and this side 3.3 .3 volt correct what if I switch it off and I want to measure 5 volt each side so I'll cover this section and keep it open I'll take this and cover this section and keep it open and now I measure 5 volt on left and right so power supply is ready I want to probe and I want to see how much voltage I am able to measure there uh, well there is some mistake out here 2.4 again and here 2.4 again so we don't know what's the what's what's wrong okay so most likely we are not able to measure the 5 volt we are measuring 3.3 on either side 
uh, one second you see I have uh, shorted the 5 volt I have uh, disconnected and now on either side I am measuring 3.3 volt to the left and right yes but when I cover the 3.3 volt both sides and try to measure 5 volt I'm not getting it this is probably because the input is uh, slightly greater than the output which is 7.7 .7, it should be uh, 9 volt because uh, the difference between input and output is just uh, 250 millivolt right uh, or 0.25 volt yeah 250 millivolt so that is the drop-in voltage in case of a regulator so drop-in voltage should be uh, is for this particular configuration is not uh, allowed uh, that should be drop-in voltage should be large so which is the differential between input and output so that you get the 5 volt but for 3.3 volt you have no problem you connect the 7 volt and you are getting the 3.3 volt output so hope you understood um, the PCB about the regulated power supply how to measure how to test and uh, how to use it for your breadboard uh, with the battery source now uh, right here this one will connect the USB here and we'll see what is this uh, function for whether it is the output of the PCB or the input of the PCB so stay tuned like uh, and comment on the, on the video uh, whatever the doubts or comments you have just post it in the comment section of the video and stay tuned for more technical and informative content wish you happy learning